Hey everyone, so today I'm here to do my everyday skincare routine. In the summertime, I kind of change up my skincare routine a little bit, and I haven't done one of these videos for about seven months, so I thought it would be nice to just do a little updated one. Some of my products have changed. Today I'm filming in my bedroom because I got a tip from someone that it's really echoey in my um, living room where I film. I just really like the lighting in there, but um, I have a nice window there too. So I thought I would try filming in here and see if it turns out any better. So just leave in the comments below what you guys think. So I will just get started with my skincare routine. So just to start off with, I have very dry, sensitive skin. These products would work, I think, with any skin type because they're pretty basic. So my cleanser I've been using is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Cleanser. And it says, it is oil-free with bursting beads, wakes you up, cleanses to brighten the appearance of your skin with caffeine, lemon, and papaya. So this is what it looks like. I am not very picky on my cleanser. I do not suffer from any acne or anything, so I just need something that's going to clean my face. So I am pretty safe with any of the Clean and Clear products, and I used to use the Neutrogena um, Visibly Bright Skin Brightening Cleanser. I don't know. It's new, and it's pink, and it's sparkly, but um, I like that as well. But I always just like to try, new try different things. So whenever I run out of one, I just try something else. I try to stay away from ones though that say um, like helps relieve acne or has salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide because I don't suffer from acne and I don't want to dry my skin out anymore. So I just stay with something kind of basic. Um, this is really weird, but I am very sensitive with putting anything food related on my face. And that's going to sound really weird, but like any like homemade masks with like banana, honey. I remember when I was younger, I did one with oatmeal, banana, and honey, and my face like reacted so badly that I actually had to take some like Benadryl and use my inhaler because my whole face like swelled up and was like all red so I'm very sensitive with putting anything food related on my face like I just stay away from those masks completely and this one says it has caffeine lemon and papaya and this one actually doesn't bother me so, or no, I'll go on to my exfoliator so my exfoliator I use is the Clinique exfoliating scrub this stuff is awesome it's honestly like sand and cream mixed together like it's really gritty and if you just use like a really light hand it honestly like it like scrubs away all your blackheads it scrubs away any nastiness you got going on it scrubs it away and there is one that's like a step below this it's called like the seven day facial scrub or something and that one to me just feels a little bit like Crisco-y and sorry my legs falling asleep um, a little bit crisco-y and just not gritty enough. So I just use this once a week and like I said, a very light hand and I do have very sensitive skin. So you don't want to like take your heel, your hands or anything and like scrub the crap out of your face because like I'll, like obviously that's going to cause wrinkles and it really irritates your skin. Like I can tell if I've done it too hard because my face gets like really red and it just hurts. So just use a gentle hand with that and it's awesome. My toner I've been using is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number no. 2 for dry combination skin. It's a great toner. Um, there's not really a lot I can say about it. Um, I don't use the dry formula because that's um, targeted more towards like the elderly with like really dry skin. Um, so this is just kind of like the normal average skin toner. It's good. Um, for my moisturizer, I have been using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Now, this is for people with oily skin, actually. But in the summer, I find if I use their regular moisturizer, which I have a, bo a new bottle of right here, um, if I sweat it all, if my face gets a little bit oily, um, it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good. Like, I like this one because it's a little bit lighter, it still moisturizes, but it's just not quite as heavy. Um, sometimes I'll mix the two. And it works nice if my skin's feeling really dry, but I kind of saved this one for the winter. So I really like this one, and this works great for oily skin. Like I said, that's actually what it's targeted for. Um, I will do my eye makeup remover now. I use the Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover. It's about $10 at Target. There's always coupons on Target.com, though, for it. Like right now, I know there's like a $2 off any Sonia Kashuk pro um, product. This stuff's awesome. I have contacts. It doesn't burn my eyes. I wear like three coats of mascara and this just gets it off. I use just these little cotton squares because they're not as abrasive on your eye as like a cotton ball and it just takes it right off and you don't even hardly have to use any. I actually accidentally spilled this and that's why it's so empty. So I'm going to have to get another one. Um, for my spot treatment, I use the salicylic acid from CVS. I just had like a really big zit on my chin, which is gross because I like never get acne and I was like freaking out. This is 2%. Um, I just got the generic brand because I really don't use this stuff very often, but it works great. So you can try this. Um, I probably should have done this with my eye makeup remover, but these are my makeup remover cleansing palettes. I typically only use these if I'm wearing foundation or a BB cream. 
Um, just because my cleanser takes everything else off, because all I wear is bronzer and, like, a little bit of concealer and blush. So, and then, like, obviously my eye makeup remover takes off all my eye makeup. So these are just the Target brand. They're called Makeup Removing Cleansing Towels. It's, it says, compared to the Neutrogena Makeup Remover. I just, I always try different kinds of makeup removers, I or towelettes. I was using the simple ones. I've tried the Say Yes to Cucumber. I don't know. I've tried, like, everything, so I just thought I'd try these out. Um... Let's see. The Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This is the mask I use. It's awesome. Um, I used to use it every Sunday, but I've kind of been slacking lately. But it says it's supposed to help dry up acne, pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink in large pores. I have very sensitive skin, like I've said a million times, and very dry skin. And this doesn't dry it out. It just really makes your skin feel nice, and it's a great mask. And um, it's like $4 for this huge thing. And I got this like a long time ago, like first semester of my freshman year. And um it's there's still tons of product in here so definitely check that out so now I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of my favorite self tanners because that's kind of skincare too and it's something I use in the summer so as you know I like raved and raved about this this is the Nivea sun-kissed radiant skin in medium to dark it's a great lotion it doesn't streak it doesn't smell like most self tanners it has like a little bit of a smell to it but it's not bad this is awesome it's not streaky and it definitely makes you very tan and then I have just started using this this is the Jergens natural glow foam and this stuff is awesome, you guys. Like, I kind of, like, was hating on the Jergens Natural Glow Lotion, but this stuff is awesome. It says no sunless tan odor, and it really, it doesn't smell bad at all. And um, it dries really fast. It says dries in seconds with no sunless tan or odor. And it does dry really fast. And it's honestly, like, the consistency of mousse. Like, you know, and it, like, like foams up in a ball. And it doesn't streak. I was really worried it was going to streak because it's like a foam, you know, and I just didn't know how well or evenly it would um, absorb into my skin. But it's really, this stuff's awesome. It says it's best by Allure magazine. So, I don't know. I would check it out. So, those are my self-tanner products. I do not use any self-tanner on my face just because I have tried the Jurgens Natural Glow face and I just feel like it it just doesn't really apply very even. It gets kind of like spotty and I just don't like it. So, that is my skincare routine for this summer. Be sure to leave a video response of your skincare or leave a comment below um, if you don't do videos. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because like I just said in my last video, I'm so happy, you guys, that I've been getting all kinds of new subscribers. Seriously, it makes my day. Um, yeah. So, if also, if there are any products that you think I should try, be sure to leave those in the comments below as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.